So you you come into the car as the kind of the new boy. You have a storming season. You win Le Mans and come second in the championship. How do you think you could possibly follow that up? <laughs> um, that's a good question. Uh, yeah, I mean, the, the 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 aim for me was to come over from single seaters and make a name for myself, and uh, it seems like I've done that to a reasonable extent. Anyway, I think the only way we can really improve on that in the in the LMP2 category is to is to win the championship as well. And I think we came we you know we came pretty close to that, but obviously to come and win them on in the first year. That's the main race. That's the race we all want to win. That's the race that everyone, all the, all these teams are set up for. Uh, to win the championship would have been nice as well, but obviously, like I said, Le Mans is the centerpiece, and um, yeah, to win it in my in my first year is amazing. So I guess we, you know, we have to go and and go back to back next year to, to to keep our sort of strength going. And I think I think that's definitely possible because we're we're a really strong team, and I think for sure that's possible. Who did you learn the most from through the experience? Because you had a couple of the platinum drivers in Mark and Philippe. I mean, what, what were you taking away from them? Uh, or was it them that you actually learned the most from? Well, I'm very lucky to have Alan Manish as my manager and mentor. And obviously, there's no better man to give someone advice on for, for, for them on than him. So, um, like I say, very, very lucky to, to have him. And he prepared me as well as he could. But there's no, there's nothing like actually getting out to Le Mans and doing it for the first time yourself. So I got I gained a lot from him. Obviously, having Philippe for the whole of the European season was, was brilliant because he's a factory works Audi driver, and you know he's been there, done it, and he he's a proven quantity. So to have him to to learn from and 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 to sort of almost compete against within a team and drive each other forward was really special. And and to have Mark, an XF1 driver with so much experience. Um, as a teammate for Spa and Le Mans was, was amazing as well. And I mean, his feedback was something like I'd never heard of before when I was just talking on the radio. And I was really admired him for that and the thought that, you know, I can take a lot from, from, from these guys. And so to come from racing against people my age to then be racing against these superstars, these proven quantities, it was amazing for me this year. And it's an experience that, you know, I've been very lucky to have and, uh, and will stand me a good step for the rest of my career. Uh, I mean, I was messaging with Philippe earlier. I understand he's out with Audi today. Um, so it's and the when the rain came down, what were your feelings? Because it, it turned into so, a bit of a carnage out there. Did you did you fear for the race at that point? Well, I'd started the race, so I'd actually just got out before the rain came down. So within five minutes of me getting out the car, it was torrential rain and. Um, I knew Ollie was in the car and he's a very safe pair of hands, so I, knew, I, I'm, I was confident he would get the car back to the pits, but when you see all these crashes, all the LMP1 cars who driven by fantastic drivers going off, you realise how tricky the conditions are, and he, he did a fantastic job to get the car back to the pits and get onto the wet tyres and stay out of the carnage. Um, but to be honest, I was still had so much adrenaline pumping from getting out of the car from my first stint, my first time racing at the Mon that I didn't really think about it too much at the time, um, but uh, like I say, I, I was very confident in, in Ollie that he, he'd be fine, and, and he was. So. And the last few laps, Ollie was in the car as well. How how difficult was it to sit in the pits and wheel the car around? It was the worst moment of the whole race by far. I mean, give me uh, one lap to to put the car on the front row of the grid, and uh, that's absolutely fine. But sitting there for an hour and a half watching the, the car in the lead thinking that you know it could break down at any moment and the, all the work we put in um, could be lost was was just the, the worst the worst moment. I was just pacing up and down in the garage it was honestly uh, it was uh, tough but um, I knew there would be no problems from his side and it was just about getting the car home and I sort of had the feeling on my on the last time through the Porsche curves on the in lap I, I knew we had this one I knew Ollie would do enough to, to win the race and you just have that strange feeling that everything's going to be okay but even still when your adrenaline is worn off and you're sat there it was an uh, uh, anxious few moments to say the least but uh, yeah when he crossed the line it was just a massive relief so it was all good. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much hope you enjoyed the premiere this evening. Thanks a lot cheers. Ladies and gentlemen you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey You Guys!